Today we're showing how quickly you can get structural calculation sheets directly from an architectural model by using a few templated components in Grasshopper. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. You can extract a portal frame set up some calc sheets and quickly flick through your different design actions based on your wind load input in this case. Okay, so to show how quick this can be, I'm going to take this architectural concept here and I want to put a portal frame in, in this location so that as the wind hits this longer face, it has something to resist that wind apart from these walls which are spaced out there. So you've got a big open space in the middle. Now to do that, I'm just going to turn off the solids and just have a wireframe version of the building. There's scripts to extract wireframes from solids if you need to do that. But basically, I'm going to use this. You can see I've already selected the curves that I want for this portal frame and put them onto a separate layer. So I'll just isolate that layer now. Now the next thing, I'm just going to do a front version of that and I'm going to quickly put a title block around that. So in my Grasshopper, this is one of the components that I've written and it allows you to just throw that frame straight into a title block and that's one of the things that's really going to speed up your calculations because then I can just print this out and put it into my calculation set. And basically this uh, collection of components here is like a template that I can use to quickly produce calculation sheets. You've got your loads in the yellow, your model in green with the um, section sizes here in grey and then you've got your supports in blue. So I've already put some of this stuff in, for example you can see here I've got a point load and I've already split up the frame into four curves and I'll explain why I've done that in a minute and I've also put the columns and the roof sections into two separate beam categories so that I can change them separately. And lastly, I've got the supports at the bottom. So if I enable this model, I'm using Kiwi here. You can use Karamba as well, or another analysis program um, plugin. There's a few out there. If I enable it, you can see what the model's seeing. So if I go back to the loads, obviously I've got this point load at the top. Then I've split these up and these couple of components here just allow me to apply a wind load. So I've got my ultimate and my service load and my CFIG external, which is an Australian code um, parameter but it basically turns your KPA of your wind, which is coming in from the left to the right, and apply a factor based on which face um, of the building that is. So as I've explained, uh, I've said in some of my other videos, as the wind comes in, it hits this front face with the most force, then as it tries to curl over the roof, it has a little bit less force on this downward slope and it can also have suction as well, the opposite effect uh, which you have to take into account 
on this face and then when you get over to here the winds creates a vortex here so it's trying to suck that face out and again when the winds passed all the way over it's it's vortexing on this side and it's trying to suck this face away from the building as well so that's the reason for the direction and these are the factors which you have to look into the code it varies for different buildings although you could write a script to do this uh, for this particular building and finally you got your load width and the direction in which this building is facing so that's the loads and you can see them there now you might have already noticed that I've got deflection written on this sheet and you can see a deflected shape there that's deflecting a little bit with uh, in meters so that's 70 millimeters or 0.07 meters so I've already run an analysis here and all I had to do that was just select the um, input the curves and a section size so I've got a section size here of a 180 PFC which is a flange channel now if I change that to something much smaller you can see I've got 1.46 meter deflection there under this wind scenario so another very quick enhancement on the speed possible with using plugins like Kiwi is to have drop down sizes so I can select all of my Australian sections just with drop downs and just run again so I want to change it again run new deflections um, and say I want to use a UB section uh, that's quite stiff so not much deflection there 63 mil So this relies on having these drop downs and I've got a component here, two components that turn a description in a drop down into a section that Kiwi 3D can understand, which outputs as an S and I can put that into a beam. So that's just speeds everything up. If you've got a drop down, you just drop it down, check a few sizes, and you've got your results. Now the other thing I've got in here as part of that is I can change from deflection to axial or moment. So a couple of things I want to check with this portal is how much is it going to move under the wind? How much is it uh, and then I want to check the forces in the elements as well. So to do that, I just have to use this drop down menu. So I can put axial in. So I've got my axial calc sheet. And I've got moment there. So I know that for this section size, I've got these axial forces in these members and I've got these moments so I can check does this 200 UB 18 have the capacity for these moments now what this is doing here is it's basically just flipping the um, data streams into two additional components so it, just with Kiwi alone or the other plugins, you might get an output like this, which is just in the grasshopper window. And it just gives you a color coded output of the axial forces in there. One thing, it, and uh, it does write this in the main screen as well. So that's good. Um, but just to make it really quick uh, output for calculation purposes, um, I've put that into a legend that draws itself into the main window so I can just put it into this sheet so 
So basically it's just replicating this, putting it into this window so that you can quickly output your calculation sheets. And in the same way you've got your, I've got a title block here that takes, that changes the subject of the calculation based on what I choose back here. So you'll see it's, it's written axial force and it automatically titles everything for you. So the last thing I'll show with this simple script setup is just the deflections. So if I go to deflection, the raw output from an analysis plugin will give you that deflected shape. So if I change it back to that really weak section and run that, you'll get that red line, the deflected shape, but you won't get the values. So I've just got a simple set of components here that will print out that difference between the points. And you've also got your support forces down the bottom as well there. So hopefully that just gives a very brief demo about how you can speed up using analysis plugins in Grasshopper. So you don't have to fiddle around with setting up a raw system every single time. You can set up a basic uh, template like I've done here with a few components and then you can just pull in items from a, a live model, an architectural model and quickly, quickly get results and print it out as a calc sheet. And then you can add that calc sheet in with the rest of your calculations and save a lot of time. Thanks for watching this structured parametrics video. Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one.